The United States Geological Survey is a scientific agency of the United States government. The scientists of the USGS study the landscape of the United States, its natural resources, and the natural hazards that threaten it. The organization has four major science disciplines, concerning biology, geography, geology, and hydrology. The USGS is a fact-finding research organization with no regulatory responsibility. A Bureau of the United States Department of the Interior, it is that department's sole scientific agency. The USGS employs approximately 8,670 people and is headquartered in Reston, Virginia. The USGS also has major offices near Lakewood, Colorado, at the Denver Federal Center, and Menlo Park, California. The current motto of the USGS, in use since August 1997, is, Science for a Changing World. The agency previous slogan, adopted on the occasion of its 100th anniversary, was, Earth Science in the Public Service, History. It was charged with the classification of the public lands, and examination of the geological structure, mineral resources, and products of the national domain. This task was driven by the need to inventory the vast lands added to the United States by the Louisiana Purchase in 1803 and the Mexican-American War in 1848. Their legislation also provided that the Hayden, Powell, and Wheeler surveys be discontinued as of June 30, 1879. Clarence King, the first director of USGS, assembled the new organization from disparate regional survey agencies. After a short tenure, King was succeeded in the director's chair by John Wesley Powell. List of USGS Director's Programs since 2012, the USGS science focus is directed at six topical mission areas, namely climate and land use change, core science systems, ecosystems, energy and minerals and environmental health, natural hazards, and water. In December 2012, the USGS split the energy and minerals and environmental health mission area resulting in seven topical mission areas with the two new areas being energy and minerals and environmental health. Administratively, it is divided into a headquarters unit and six regional units. Other specific programs include Earthquake Hazards Program monitors earthquake activity worldwide. The National Earthquake Information Center in Golden, Colorado on the campus of the Colorado School of Mines detects the location and magnitude of global earthquakes. The USGS informs authorities, emergency responders, the media, and the public both domestic and worldwide about significant earthquakes. It also maintains long-term archives of earthquake data for scientific and engineering research. It also conducts and supports research on long-term seismic hazards. USGS has released UCERF California Earthquake Forecast. As of 2005, the agency is working to create a national volcano early warning system by improving the instrumentation monitoring the 169 volcanoes in U.S. territory and by establishing methods for measuring the relative threats posed at each site. The USGS National Geomagnetism Program monitors the magnetic field at magnetic observatories and distributes magnetometer data in real time. The USGS collaborates with Canadian and Mexican government scientists, along with the Commission for Environmental Cooperation, to produce the North American Environmental Atlas, which is used to depict and track environmental issues for a continental perspective. The USGS operates the stream gauging network for the United States, with over 7,400 stream gauges. Real-time stream flow data are available online. National Climate Change and Wildlife Science Center implements partner-driven science to improve understanding of past and present land use change, develops relevant climate and land use forecasts, and identifies lands, resources, 
in communities that are most vulnerable to adverse impacts a change from the local to global scale. Since 1962, the Astrogeology Research Program has been involved in global, lunar, and planetary exploration and mapping. In collaboration with Stanford University, the USGS also operates the USGS Stanford Ion Microprobe Laboratory, a world-class analytical facility for UPB geochronology and trace element analyses of minerals and other earth materials. USGS operates a number of water-related programs, notably the National Stream Flow Information Program and National Water Quality Assessment Program. USGS water data is publicly available from their National Water Information System database. The USGS also operates the National Wildlife Health Center, whose mission is to serve the nation and its natural resources by providing sound science and technical support and to disseminate information to promote science-based decisions affecting wildlife and ecosystem health. The NWHC provides information, technical assistance, research, education, and leadership on national and international wildlife health issues. It is the agency primarily responsible for surveillance of H5N1 avian influenza outbreaks in the United States. The USGS also runs 17 biological research centers in the United States, including the Patuxent Wildlife Research Center. The USGS is investigating collaboration with the social networking site Twitter to allow for more rapid construction of shake maps. Topographic mapping The USGS produces several national series of topographic maps which vary in scale and extent with some wide gaps in coverage. Notably the complete absence of 1 to 50,000 scale topographic maps or their equivalent. The largest and best known topographic series is the 7.5-MINUTE 1 to 24,000 scale quadrangle, a non-metric scale virtually unique to the United States. Each of these maps covers an area bounded by two lines of latitude and two lines of longitude space 7.5 minutes apart. Nearly 57,000 individual maps in this series cover the 48 contiguous states, Hawaii, U.S., territories, and areas of Alaska near Anchorage, Fairbanks, and Prudhoe Bay. The area covered by each map varies with the latitude of its represented location due to convergence of the meridians. At lower latitudes, near 30 degrees north, a 7.5-MINUTE quadrangle contains an area of about 64 square miles. At 49 degrees north latitude, 49 square miles are contained within a quadrangle of that size. As a unique, non-metric map scale, the 1 to 24,000 scale naturally requires a separate and specialized Roma scale for plotting map positions. In recent years, budget constraints have forced the USGS to rely on donations of time by civilian volunteers in an attempt to update its 7.5-MINUT topographic map series and USGS stated outright in 2000 that the program was to be phased out in favor of the national map. An older series of maps, the 15-minute series, was once used to map the contiguous 48 states at a scale of 1 to 62,500, but was discontinued some time ago for maps covering the continental U.S. Each map was bounded by two parallels and two meridians spaced 15 minutes apart, the same area covered by four maps in the 7.5-MINUTE series. The 15-minute series, at a scale of 1 to 63,360, remains the primary topographic quadrangle for the state of Alaska. Nearly 3,000 maps cover 97% of the state. The United States remains virtually the only developed country in the world without a standardized civilian topographic map series in the standard 1 to 25,000 or 1 to 50,000 metric scales making coordination difficult in border regions. The next smallest topographic series, in terms of scale, is the 1 to 100,000 series. 
These maps are bounded by two lines of longitude and two lines of latitude. However, in this series, the lines of latitude are spaced 30 minutes apart and the lines of longitude are spaced 60 minutes, which is the source of another name for these maps, the 30 by 60 minute quadrangle series. Each of these quadrangles covers the area contained within 32 maps in the 7.5-MINUTE series. The 1 to 100,000 scale series is unusual in that it employs the metric system primarily. One centimeter on the map represents one kilometer of distance on the ground. Contour intervals, spot elevations, and horizontal distances are also specified in meters. The final regular quadrangle series produced by the USGS is the 1 to 250,000 scale topographic series. Each of these quadrangles in the Kinterminus United States measures 1 degree of latitude by 2 degrees of longitude. This series was produced by the U.S. Army Map Service in the 1950s, prior to the maps in the larger scale series, and consists of 489 sheets each covering an area ranging from 8,218 square miles at 30 degrees north to 6,222 square miles at 49 degrees north. Hawaii is mapped at this scale in quadrangles measuring 1 degree by 1 degree. USGS topographic quadrangle maps are marked with grid lines and ticks around the map collar which make it possible to identify locations on the map by several methods including the graticule measurements of longitude and latitude, the township and section method within the public land survey system, and Cartesian coordinates in both the state plane coordinates system and the universal transverse Mercator coordinates system. Other specialty maps have been produced by the USGS at a variety of scales. These include county maps, maps of special interest areas, such as the national parks, and areas of scientific interest. A number of Internet sites have made these maps available on the web for affordable commercial and professional use. Because works of the U.S. government are in the public domain, it is also possible to find many of these maps for free at various locations on the Internet. Geo-referenced map images are available from the USGS as digital raster graphics in addition to digital data sets based on USGS maps, notably digital line graphs and digital elevation models. The National Map and U.S. Topo. In 2008 the USGS abandoned traditional methods of surveying, revising, and updating topographic maps based on aerial photography and field checks. Today's U.S. Topo quadrangle maps are mass-produced using automated and semi-automated processes, with cartographic content supplied from the National GIS database. In the two years from June 2009 to May 2011, the USGS produced nearly 40,000 maps, more than 80 maps per workday. Only about two hours of interactive work are spent on each map, mostly on text placement and final inspection. There are essentially no field checks or field inspections to confirm map details. While much less expensive to compile and produce the revised digital US, Topo maps have been criticized for a lack of accuracy and detail in comparison to older generation maps based on aerial photo survey and field checks. As the digital databases were not designed for producing general purpose maps, data integration can be a problem when retrieved from sources with different resolutions and collection dates. Man-made features once recorded by direct field observation are not in any public domain national database, and are frequently omitted from the newest generation digital topo maps, including windmills, mines and mine shafts, water tanks, fence lines, survey marks, parks, recreational trails, buildings, boundaries, pipelines, telephone lines, power transmission lines, and even railroads. Additionally, the digital maps use of existing software may not properly integrate different feature classes or prioritize and organize text in areas of crowded features, obscuring important geographic details. 
As a result, some have noted that the U.S. topo maps currently fall short of traditional topographic map presentation standards achieved in maps drawn from 1945 to 1992. USGS Hydrologic Instrumentation Facility The Hydrologic Instrumentation Facility has four sections within its organizational structure, the Field Services section which includes the Warehouse repair shop and engineering unit, the testing section which includes the hydraulic laboratory, testing chambers, and water quality laboratory, the information technology section which includes computer support and the drafting unit, and the administrative section. The HIF was given national responsibility for the design, testing, evaluation, repair, calibration, warehousing, and distribution of hydrologic instrumentation. Distribution is accomplished by direct sales and through a rental program. The HIF supports data collection activities through centralized warehouse and laboratory facilities. The HIF warehouse provides hydrologic instruments, equipment, and supplies for USGS as well as other federal agencies and USGS cooperators. The HIF also tests, evaluates, repairs, calibrates, and develops hydrologic equipment and instruments. The HIF hydraulic laboratory facilities include a towing tank, jet tank, pipe flow facility, and tilting flume. In addition, the HIF provides training and technical support for the equipment it stocks. The engineering group seeks out new technology and designs for instrumentation that can work more efficiently, be more accurate, and or be produced at a lower cost than existing instrumentation. HIF works directly with vendors to help them produce products that will meet the mission needs of the USGS. For instrument needs not currently met by a vendor, the engineering group designs, tests, and issues contracts to have HIF designed equipment made. Sometimes HIF will patent a new design in the hope that instrument vendors will buy the rights and mass produce the instrument at a lower cost to everyone.